what's happening youtube another wild situation that i got for you guys right here right now but before we go any further play a player hit that like button hit that subscribe button man it's free i'm telling you i never lie to you let's go now that i got you guys here now that i got your attention you've seen the thumbnail you've seen the title of this video let's get right into it man the south siders them sereños in alaska that's what this video is going to be about my time in alaska i already dropped a couple other videos about me being arrested in alaska catching a case out there if you guys haven't checked out those videos i highly suggest you go check those ones out it'd be in a playlist tab on my channel just to catch all you guys up on this situation i was in alaska doing my thuggy I got arrested in Kodiak, was in jail out there for about four months, and then they shipped me on a plane from Kodiak jail to an uh, Anchorage jail in Anchorage, Alaska. See, Kodiak jail was a real small jail. They fed you all kinds of good food, right? I get to Anchorage jail, Anchorage, Alaska, man. It's a huge jail, big-ass jail, bro, big, huge jail, like a regular jail. Kodiak wasn't a regular jail. It felt like a damn hotel over there, you know what I'm saying? So this is a real jail, man. I get there. And my bunkie, my cell, he's a bicep dude, right? He's a bicep, but he sleep. He sleep all day. He knocked out. I, he a knock or something. He a dope fiend or something, right? He's coming down off something. I'm only in this jail for about four days, bro, before I get extradited back to California. But while I'm there, it damn near pops off. It damn near kicks off in this jail in this pod that I'm at, right? So my first day there, I'm in booking. I'm in booking most of the day. Whoop de whoop whoop. Finally get to a cell. I'm in the cell now. I'm in some type of intake unit. I don't know. It's general population though. So I'm in my cell and they're cell feeding us, right? They're cell feeding us and the dude handing out the food with the CO as they come by and unlock your door is a paisa. I notice he's Mexican because he's talking uh or he's some type of Latino, right? Because he's talking Spanish to a couple cells down. So I'm here, I'm at the door, I'm peeping, seeing right, I'm at my window. Because at first, I don't know that he's a paisa. I, I don't know if he's a south side or Sereno or what. So I'm at my door just in case when the shit pop, it have to go down. You feel me? So I'm at my door keeping post. He comes by with the little thing of food, right? The tray of food. He hands me my food. He looks at me, he's like, hey, you Mexican? I'm like, whoop, 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 right? He's like, orale, that's right. And he shakes my hand. I was like, are you a Sereno? You a south sider? He's like, no, mi paisa, mi paisa. I was like, oh, okay, okay. He was like, you? You a sereno? I'm like, no, 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 no. And I tell him, I'm a whoop de whoop whoop. And his eyes just get big. His eyes just like, you know what I'm saying? He kind of like gets stuck in his place. And like he never seen one of us before. He, You know, he probably heard about us or whatever the case may be. But he, you could tell he was like in shock that one of us was there. Or he was probably like, damn, I just shook this buster's hand. Like, <laughs> you feel me? I don't know what the fuck he was going, what was going through in his head. But I'm, that's just what it looked like from the outside, man. And then he was like, oh, okay. And I asked him, I was like, hey, is there any other, uh, you feel me's out here? Any of my peoples? He goes, there's a few, there's a few, but just not in this pod. Uh, what about Southside? Is there any Southsiders in this pod? He goes, yeah, there's a couple. They're youngsters. He said, they just came in too. Two Sereños. He pointed to where their cell was. He didn't tell me exactly what cell. He was just like, they're down there on the lower tier. I'm on the top tier. I'm getting at him. Like, let me know. Like, asking him questions about this jail. Like, how does it operate? Is there a certain pod that the Norteños go to or the Sereños go to? How You feel me? How does it work? He was like, I'm going to pass out the food. And when I get and when I'm done, I'm going to come talk to you. I was like, oh, I appreciate it. Love one. He was like, some more. And he kept it pushing. He ended up coming back. He ended up telling me about certain pods where all the Sereños go to. I guess they had separation where, like, they, they sent some MS dudes. I guess there's a lot of MS out there, MS-13. And they separated them dudes from the other Sereños. I don't know why. I guess they might have been getting, getting into it with the 18th Street dudes or something. I don't know. MS dudes had their own pod. And there was other blacks and whites and everybody else in there, but they were just separate from the other Sedanios. This was an Anchorage jail, according to this dude. And then I asked him about the program. How's the program here? When do we come out? What are the hours? He says, man, the COs play us on our program. Most of the time we're in our cells. If we do come out, it's one hour during the morning, one hour during the evening. I said, okay, boom. We didn't come out that night. The next morning for breakfast, they self fed us again, and but they let us out for lunch. They let us out for lunch. It was a sack lunch, uh, peanut butter and jelly two cookies, some, uh, I don't, I don't know, whatever, whatever the fuck else was in that motherfucking sack lunch, man, but I'm up, 
I'm fucking, I got a commissary list. I'm filling out the commissary list just to pass time. I got money on my books, but I know I'm probably not going to be there even long enough to get my commissary. Y'all know how it is when you do time and you have to do your commissary list. You know what I'm saying? You look, you, it's pretty much you window shopping. You feel me? You're like, okay, I'm going to buy this and you add up all your shit. See, I'm going to, oh no, I'm going to subtract this, take this out. I don't really need that. I'm going to just get these chips, get this coffee, get these beans. Okay, oh yeah, got to get some rice. You know what I'm saying? Damn, how many soups did I get? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That shit would take up your whole day if you sit there on that desk in your cell. And you know what I'm talking about? Y'all know the real niggas know what I'm talking about, man. So it's morning time, man. I'm filling out that commissary list bright and early. I ain't got no coffee, man. That's the first thing I wanted was some coffee. You feel me? Like, I gotta have coffee, bro. I got a program. You feel me? Click, 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 click. The door pops. It's lunch. We go out there. I'm like, okay. First thing I see... I wait for everyone else to go out first, right? Because I'm not going to let these niggas hit me from the back or anything, like, just in case it pop off, like, you know what I'm saying? So I go outside my cell, but I stand by my door and I let everyone pass me. I let everyone pass me, and I, I do that for a specific reason, to see where everyone sits, you know what I'm saying? To see what, where, where where the black sits, where the white sits, where the bison sits, where these south siders at, that dude told me, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, like I said, I'm on the top tier. So I get to see everything, right? I'm the last one to go down there, but I'm peeping everything. Okay, then I'm going to, I think that's the Southsiders right there. Okay, where the white boys at? Okay, that's because there's some skinheads there, bro. They was deep. The skinheads, there was probably like mm, about 15 white boys. Half of them were all tatted up, bald head, tats everywhere on their face, head. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about, them skinheads. So at this point, I'm being able, to, I'm now I'm being, I'm able to peep the whole pod. I'm able to see how many blacks is there. I'm able to get a head count. I'm Okay, so I'm walking down the stairs. I'm counting the white boys. I'm counting the bices. Okay, I see the blacks. I'm counting the blacks. Okay, quick. It only takes me about 30 seconds to get a quick head count of the whole pot. You feel me? If you've been on the yard, especially Tracy, and you used to have to walk that track and get a head count, you niggas know what the fuck I'm talking about. How it does it. You feel me? So now I got a head count of all races, and now my my in my head, I'm processing who's a threat. The white boys and the Southsiders and the Pisces. Unfortunately, that's how it is. I was going to go sit with the blacks. I'm not going to lie with y'all, man. I'm going to keep it all the way, honey. I'm going to go sit with the blacks or the Asians. That, that there's The Asian table was full. The blacks table was full. They had about two, three tables. The Asians had one table. That shit was full. You know, the, the Usos and the Asians they, and the blacks, they all sat in the same little area. But what was weird to me, bro, the whites were on one side of the day room eating their food, right? They had about two, three tables as well. And the Mexicans, the Bices and all that were on the other side of the day room. That's different for me because usually the whites and the bices and all that are on the same side or at least close to each other, sitting by in the same area, right? So I sit where the Pisces was. There was some youngster sitting there too. He had a fade. He really didn't look like a South Sider, bro. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. The tattoos that he had weren't traditional to me knowing what South Siders got. You know what I'm saying? They looked more like tattoos as what somebody from Northern Cali would get. A Mexican, a youngster from Northern Cali. The, hit the tattoos that he had, you know what I'm saying? The the way that he had his haircut, he had a fade line up, like it's just not what I expected a Southsider to look like. You know, being from Northern California, traditionally we have this thought in our head what a Southsider is. You feel me? That traditional cholo look with most of the time only having old English lettering tattoos and things of that nature. Virgin Mary tattoos, shit like that. Well, this dude had money sign tattoos, fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? And to, in all reality, people will probably consider them black tattoos. Tattoos that black people will probably get. Or hip-hop style tattoos. This dude was already sitting at the table. His boy, he ended up coming up from getting something to drink and sitting back down at the table. I introduced myself to the Pisces. Two of them didn't speak English, the other one did. And then old boy, I seen he had California on his forearm. He had a tattoo of the outline of California with palm trees and he had cursive in it. I don't know what the cursive said because at first I didn't know if this dude was a Southsider or not. Like I said, because of the description he had. He introduced himself to me first. We shake hands, whoop de whoop whoop. He says his name, I say my name and he doesn't say where he's from. He has the outline of California. So I was like, hey bro, you from California? He goes, yup, uh, I think he was from San Bernardino or some shit down there. San something. San, I think, I want to say San Bernardino, bro. And he was like, yeah, you? I was like, I'm from Stockton. He was like, Stockton? He's like, oh, Stockton? And his eyes lit up again. And I tell him, bro, like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, who I am? I'm like, yeah, I'm a woo, 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 woo. He was like, oh, okay. He was like, that's right. And he kind of just, we kind of just have like this little stare down him and his partner. And then I, and then I shake his partner's hand, introduce myself to his partner. His partner shakes my hand. He goes on to ask me, he was like, what happened? You got arrested out here? You got a case or what? He was like, you're working? 
was like, nah, I wasn't working out here, bro. Because what happens is a lot of people go to Alaska to work, like on the fishing boats or in the in the plant, in the warehouse or whatnot, you feel me? And they end up getting into bar fights or they end up catching a case out there on some dumb shit and end up in jail. A lot of people from a lot of, from the, around the country go to Alaska to work and end up in jail out there. So if you ever go to Alaska, man, don't do no dumb shit and end up in jail. And I'm like, nah, bro, I ain't, I ain't, you feel me? I ain't doing none of that. I ain't working. I'm working, but I'm not working. You feel me? And we're talking a little bit and he goes on to tell me, he's like, yeah, none of your homies are in here, G. He goes, I don't, he goes, you may have some in the other pod. He goes, but he goes, it's rare that any of you guys come through here. I goes, yeah, I, I realize that. <laughs> he goes, how long you going to be in here for? I was like, shit, I'm, I'm being extradited back to Cali. He was like, serio? I'm like, yeah, we'll whoop. And we start talking and this and that. He was like, man, bro, he was like, this jail ain't. He was, bro, keep it 100. He was end up being cool as shit. I ain't going to lie. Cool ass Southsider. He was my age, early 20s. You feel me? And he was just like, bro, this jail is nothing like California, homie. He was like, the politics, the way motherfuckers out here operate. He goes, even my homies out here be on some bullshit, talking about the Sereno. He goes, this shit's watered down out here, fool. It's nothing like Cali, fool. It's nothing like Cali, fool. That's what he kept saying. I'm like, all right, so whatever that mean, nigga, I don't know. But <laughs> it seemed like it's good right now, shit. <laughs> you feel me? So then I end up asking him about the white boys. I was like, what's up with the white boys? He goes, ah, them fools, they think they're the shit. He goes, them fools ain't nothing, fool. He goes, them fools ain't about nothing. He goes, a couple of them are with the business, but uh, most of them, all them tattoos and shit them fools got, that shit don't mean nothing, homie. Because them fools can get it too. <laughs> I start laughing like, that's right. I mean, not that's right that the white boys can get it. Shout out to all the white boys, but his attitude and the way he, you feel me? I fucked with his gangster, you know what I'm saying? I fucked with his gangster, man. So that was that, bro. We end up eating lunch. They end up going their way. I end up going my way. Like I said, in this fucking intake pod or whatever the fuck it was, they did not give us program, bro. So one time they end up did giving us a little program of one hour in the evening. And my whole thing is, homie, I have to hit the yard, homie. Period. I cannot be in this cell. I cannot just stay in day room. I nah, nigga, fuck that. I have to hit the yard, homie. I have to touch that yard. I have to make my presence known on this yard, bro. Period. I have to hit the yard. I don't give a fuck if I'm gonna get rushed. I don't give a fuck if I'm out. It's just me. So I'm definitely outnumbered, but I'm gonna hit that yard, homie. You know what I'm saying? I gotta hit the yard. I'm gonna hit that yard. I don't give a fuck. So that's what I do. I hit the yard. You know what I'm saying? The white boys are all out there. Most of them, some are inside showering, some are, in, you feel me, in the day room doing table games, whatever the case. And they got some blacks, some OG blacks shooting the basketball around. A few other blacks right here chopping it up, you feel me, talking in their little circle. So when I hit the yard, it gets quiet. You can hear a pin drop. I swear to God, everyone stops talking. The dudes that were playing handball stopped playing handball. Dudes that were shooting the basketball court stopped shooting the basketball court. It just started lightweight dribbling it. And, you know, it was just quiet, homie. It was tension. You could felt it. You felt it. So the ones that were playing, the ones that were shooting handball were the Pisces and the white boys. And then you had the blacks, the OG blacks, like I said, shooting the basketball court around. And this yard was a small yard. as a rectangular concrete yard. That's it. It had a half court basketball court. And on the other side, dudes were playing uh, handball. So when I step out there, I just look around, get a quick head count again on who the fuck's out here. What the fuck they doing? See what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Checking the temperature out here, man. I'm like, okay, okay. And then I proceed to the blacks. I walk up to the blacks that are right there chopping it up, introduce myself to them, shake their hand, and I start spinning laps around the yard. Walk by the white boys, you feel me? Do a quick little head nod, like, what's handing, what's up? They do the same thing back. Again, they're not mugging me, but they're just staring. You know what I'm saying? They don't know who I am. They they know where I'm from because the pretty sure the Pisces and the Southsiders told them. But, you know what I'm saying, they ain't busting no grape. So I'm just pushing track, homie. I spin track damn near the whole yard, and I'm out. I'm out there, nigga. I'm on the yard. You know what I'm saying? Until they call recall. You feel me? I'm going to be out here, and I'm going to stand my ground, homie. I don't give a fuck if y'all jump me. Y'all can try to stab me. Whatever the case may be. But, bitch, as long as I plant my flag on this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Period, homie. That's, that's my main objective is to plant my flag on this motherfucker, homie. Whatever y'all want to do, let's do it, homie. Because I'm here, I'm here, and I ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Period, my nigga. 
was handy. And you could tell some of the white boys didn't like my demeanor because I walked out there, you know what I'm saying? I hit the yard with a mean mug. I ain't the biggest nigga, but I give a mean fuck. X ready, man, hit that shit. I hit the yard with a mean mug. I ain't the biggest nigga, but I give a mean fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know, some of the white boys just didn't like my approach. Nigga, I'm hitting the yard, nigga, chest out, nigga, chin up. You feel me? Walking around like, uh, like nigga, I'm King Tuck around that motherfucker. Nigga, what you niggas wanna do, homie? What's up, homie? You know what I'm saying? Bust the move. Get your motherfucking jaw broke. You feel me? That's the way I. That's how I walk. That's how I approach the situation. I was in it. What the fuck you want to do, nigga? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit this yore. And I'm going to push track by myself. I and mean, if one of you motherfuckers want to do something, let's do it. I'm, I'm going to get fucked up. I know that. I know eventually I'm going to get fucked up. But it's all good. Because as long as I get one of you motherfuckers, then, I, then, then you know what I'm saying? As long as I get one of y'all. That's all that matters. And the whole time that I was there, you seen the white boys huddling up. I don't know if they was plotting or ready to bust that move. Or seeing if I was just... If I was going to bust a move on one of them, because the, the South Siders weren't even tripping. The white boys were the ones tripping. The blacks wasn't tripping. The, like, the whole time I'm there, it was just been tension, bro. Every time I hit the day room for the couple times I they, they did run program, day room and whatnot. A couple times they did run yard room there. You know what I'm saying? It was just tension. You could feel it. Ain't nothing happened, though. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want it with the motherfucking kid. You feel me? <laughs> I was just playing. They would have fucked me up, nigga. They would have poop patted my shit. Boop, 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 boop. Shut your dumb ass up, AWS. Boop, 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 boop. Stupid ass nigga coming out here fucking with some real Alaska white boys, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They would have beat my ass, nigga. They would have fucked me up, nigga. You got knocked up. Fuck out. He gonna cry in the car. So shout out to them Southsiders, man, that was out there in Alaska with me. Hey, homie, if you out there somewhere, if you still living, if you still going strong, bro, if you anywhere in this world and you watch this video, man, shout out to you, homie, with the California tattoo outline on his forearm with the palm trees. You know who I'm talking about, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Dudes was cool as shit. Shout out to them Pisces that was out there, too. The blacks, blacks, really, blacks, the blacks was different out there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The blacks was different. They wasn't cool like the California blacks that we usually cool with. You feel me? So, yeah, man, I got extradited and out of there, man. They come get me like at four in the morning, pop my cell, click, 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 click. Got me up out of there. Took me to the front booking. Two agents were there waiting for me. Shackled me up for motherfucking foot. Man, we'll see. Bro, I'm going to tell you about being extradited. Y'all don't know what extradited means. It's when you go from one state to another state and they come in, the agents come and get your ass, bro. Them peoples, them folks. You don't, don't play with them people, bro. They will come get your ass. They got my belly dumb, damn it, dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? They got my dumb asses. And took me up out of there and flew my ass back to California. That was a trip, bro. Be I was on a regular plane with regular people, bro. And shackled up. I'm going to tell y'all about that in another video. Because this video is way too long. And it's going to take up way too much time to upload. And you know I be using McDonald's Wi-Fi to upload my YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? So you got to bear with me, player. Just bear with me. If you like this video, I appreciate y'all for listening to all the way through. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Stay tuned for more content just like this. It's the kid and I'm gone.